so hey guys i am finally getting ready to do my pregnancy q a it is long overdue but today i made 33 weeks so why not um originally i wanted to do this q a video with my mom this is what's how this is how i was going to surprise her with the gender of the baby it was going to be so cute um i had victorian do like these q a cards this batch was a batch of cards for me to ask my mom, and my mom was supposed to ask me these questions. And I haven't even read them yet, but um, yeah, so we were gonna be asking each other questions, and then my last question to her was gonna be, if you could tell your granddaughter anything in the world right now, what would it be? And then whatever her reaction was, like, if she was caught off guard, like, oh, I would tell her, and then be like, wait, what? I was gonna pop the confetti on her. Or she was like, granddaughter, same thing. So um, she wrote with that because every time I tried to get her to do the video when I came home, she had an excuse, my hair's not done, blah, blah, blah. And I just wanted to have everyone put the gender out there. So whatever. Um, I've been begging her to still do the Q&A with me because I think it would be so funny or cute or whatever. But she's playing. So I'm going to hurry up and get this Q&A out because time is ticking, okay? All right. So I'm just going to... I'm going to see what Victoria wrote down for these questions. I don't know what they're going to say. And if I feel like she didn't get some of the questions that I just want to answer myself, then I am going to just add those. I'm just going to add that in there. First question is, how did I find out I was pregnant? So my period was late. This was back in December. My period is usually never late. Um, and it was late. And I knew it was late because I had the period app and also I was supposed to be going on vacation. I was going to Mexico. Um, all right, so I'm gonna be real. This might be too much information, but I had took a plan B. So my period did not show up. I was not really questioning it that much because I know that the side effects of a plan B is to, um, you know, your period can be late. So um, first day late, I'm like, okay. Second day late, I'm just joking with my friend, like, girl, you know, whatever. But then she knows that I took it, so she's like, just wait around. So I'm waiting. I think it was like the fourth day, and now I'm getting impatient because. I think this is like a Wednesday or something, and I was supposed to be leaving for my trip on that Sunday. So I'm like, damn, if my period don't, doesn't hurry up and get here, then I'm going to have my period on vacation, and I'm going to be very upset. So, um, yeah, so now I'm getting impatient. Like, period, where are you? Like, we have a trip to go to. So um, I think the Saturday before my trip, I was leaving on Sunday, I went to like the dollar store just to go get a few like extra things for like, you know, my trip or whatever. And you know how they have like the little pregnancy test behind the counter? They're cheap and people judge them, but I'm sitting here like, listen, it's right at the counter. I'm just gonna buy it just to see. But in my mind, I'm not pregnant, so whatever. So I bought the little pregnancy test. I go home, I'm packing my suitcase and stuff or whatever, my mom is still out. I was going on a trip with my mom. And um, I wasn't even thinking about it. Like, I've had pregnancy scares in the past, and like, you know how you rush in and like, you're just so eager to take the test. I really was not even sweating it because I just knew that I was not pregnant. So um, I pack my bag, I'm taking my time, and then I finally go to have to use the bathroom. So I'm like, let me use a test. <sighs> Y'all. <laughs> So I go to the bathroom and while I'm like literally walking in the bathroom, Hakeem FaceTimes me. I don't even tell him what I'm doing. Like I'm just, you know, regular, I'm using the bathroom. So I think it was the one that I had to like, um, I peed in a cup and it comes with a little thingy that you, like a little suction cup or whatever. You take a pee out and you drop it on a thing. So I pee in a cup, um, I <laughs> get some of the pee out the cup plastic cup obviously and I drop it on a thing and it says to wait like three to five minutes or something or so um now I told you I've had a pregnancy skip before like usually when I pee or whatever right away I'm like this I did kind of look right away this time but it wasn't on purpose so anyway I do that I go to like bite myself and then like I think he said something on the phone and the test was right there so I just turned and it has not even been that long at all. And I turned and those two lines are bright. They were bright as ever, like they were bright. And I just screamed, I was like, ah! <laughs> Mind you, he doesn't know what I'm doing. So he's like, what, like what you screaming for? And I'm just like panicking because I know that it's real because it has not even been the um, recommended time and it's already there. And I was pregnant. So I was like, look, and I just took the camera and I show him. He was just quiet and he like nah he was like um that bum test or whatever and he was like you're not pregnant blah blah i'm like no like there's no such thing as a false 
positive pregnancy test I am pregnant and I'm I'm just bugging because I just knew that I wasn't pregnant you know like I don't know so anyway uh yeah, so he just kept saying, like, no, you're not pregnant. When you get back from your trip, we're going to buy you a real pregnancy test so you can take one. You know, don't worry about it, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, nigga, like, I'm pregnant. So I finished packing my bags and stuff. My mom walks in the house or whatever. She's mad excited for the trip. She walks in the house talking about it. And I'm like, girl, I got to tell you something. And she just looked at me. She was like, you pregnant? I'm like, yeah. She like, mm, that's a shame because we're going to Mexico. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to be drunk by myself. That sucks. And yeah, that was it. That's how I found out I was pregnant. A week before my birthday, a day before my birthday vacation. When I got back from my trip a week later, I went to um, the doctor and I found out that I was four weeks pregnant. So, yes. December, I think 15th is when I found out. And I still have the pregnancy test. I don't know if that's nasty or not, but whatever. All right. Next question. Okay, so this one says... What are some of the cravings you had and you had? Currently right now, which is surprising, I'm in my third trimester and I really don't have any cravings at all. Like I barely have a, um, I barely have an appetite, which is crazy. I, I don't eat, I eat regular, like one or two meals a day, little snacks here and there. In the beginning, my cravings were disgusting. Like, yuck. I was craving oodles and noodles. I was craving the Chef Boyardee beefaronis. <laughs> Everybody was judging me. My mother was judging me. My aunt was like, please stop eating that. But I really craved it. I used to make my stepfather, my sister go to the store. Can you please give me beefaronis? And um, yeah, I was craving the little chocolate ice cream cones um, and a lot of sweet stuff, which I don't really like sweet foods. I like my spices and whatever, but I was craving so many sweet things like um, honey buns and ice cream and fruit. Oh, apples. I ate apples every single day. That was like the only thing I could really keep down during my first trimester, apples. It was a moment when I was in Florida for like a month and a half straight every single day and like in my nighttime snack morning whatever my craving was waffles and turkey bacon i literally ate turkey bacon every single day for like a month or two straight turkey bacon turkey bacon turkey bacon and waffles and <laughs> okay what was the best and worst thing about being pregnant okay so so far i would say the absolutely worst thing about being pregnant for me was my first trimester I don't know how people have more than one child like I mean I understand not everyone has the same experience but I feel like for the women who have had morning sickness and just a horrible first trimester they know what I'm talking about like how could you do that twice my first trimester was so traumatizing like every single day well I'm gonna when I first found out I was off the hook okay I found out at four weeks my birthday, I did a whole dance party and everything. I was fine. I remember working a flight and um, I had a woman on there with her newborn. And so I'm talking to her and, you know, I tell her, like, oh, I just found out that I'm pregnant. And, you know, we're just having a conversation. She's like, how far along are you? And I told her, like, um, I'll be seven weeks this weekend. She was like, what? She was like, you're six weeks and you're working, like, flying in the air. She was like, when I was six weeks, I was so sick. I couldn't do anything or whatever. And I'm in my head like, yes, I'm off the hook. Like, she said she was sick around this time and I'm not so i'm good i kid you not as soon as i finished that trip that was my last trip for a long time as soon as i finished that trip i went home that weekend i hit my seventh week mark and my body was like my body was not my friend every single day i'm just in a bed throwing up every single thing that i eat as soon as i you could swallow water as soon as i swallow water i have to throw up um just everything I'm just throwing up it was gross and then I would not eat because I would be scared to throw up then you're throwing up the bowel and then like you just have no energy like the baby's just really feeding off of everything inside of your body at that moment and um it's just awful like I wasn't myself my first trimester was just traumatizing it was, I honestly feel like I wouldn't want to have another kid because I don't want to go through that again I'm gonna say that was the worst thing and the best thing so far about being pregnant is just feeling my baby move I think that's the the most beautiful thing um i started feeling her move around like 17 16 weeks and at first it started out as like the little flutters which feel like little flux and then um yeah now i i feel her move i'll see her move the little hard kicks the rolls and it's just beautiful what habits of yours do you hope your child does not have 
Um, I hope that my little nugget is, because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I think that I can be lazy, like I can be a huge procrastinator. Um, yeah, I'm lazy and I can be a huge procrastinator and I just will hope that she's not like that. Um, I feel like it honestly runs in my family though. Like my family is a type of family that, you know how some people get woken up on a Saturday morning to clean and like listen to music and all that? I can't relate, like my family we sleep in. It's just how we are and so I feel like that's why I, that's why I am the way I am as an adult. So I want to try to change that as a parent. Like I want to wake up early on the weekends for no reason, just to instill those good habits into her. But it's probably not gonna happen. Sounds good, but I don't know. She wrote, where did you conceive? If my mother would've asked me this, this would've been hilarious. <laughs> ah, it was at his house. After I screamed on the phone with Hakeem and I hung up with him, the first person that I called was Destiny, my god sister, my sister. I FaceTimed Destiny first and I was boo hoo, ugly, Kim K crying. And she's like, what's wrong? I'm about to FaceTime her. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. What was, my, what was my reaction when I called you on FaceTime? <laughs> Well, this is crying. This is crying. She had tears in her eyes, crying, yelling, no, Destiny. I can't believe this. This is crying. The ugly Kim K cry, right? Yes. She was like, what? You thought somebody died? Yes, I thought somebody died. I was like, are you serious right now? I said, what's the problem? She said, I'm pregnant. Like, I really just did not think I was pregnant, but yeah. All right, what you say you was doing? I can't Oh, all right, I'll play later. Bye. So yeah, I just cried, not because I was like unhappy, but like, I just didn't think I was pregnant. And I don't know, like I could have, I'm, I'm 24. Like I could have been something, well I was 23 when I found out, a week before I turned 24. So um, I cried, but then after I called Destiny, it was just kind of like, you know, it is what it is. Will you miss being pregnant? What are you most looking forward to after the baby gets here? I think that I am going to miss being pregnant. Um, not the first trimester, but I think that once you, like in the beginning, you feel like pregnancy is gonna be so slow. I just kept saying to my mom every day, how did you do this for nine months? How are people pregnant for nine months? That's such a long time. Like from December, like I'm not gonna have a baby till August. How can I be pregnant for all this time? It just, it didn't sit right with me <laughs> but then once you start seeing your bump grow and you're gonna be obsessed every day you wake up you're gonna be looking at yourself like that was me but once i noticed my belly growing and stuff then i think that i didn't really care about time that much because you're just enjoying that you're enjoying that change with your body and that growth with your baby so i'm definitely gonna miss my bump i'm gonna miss bonding with my baby and my belly and um I'm gonna miss pulling a pregnancy card, of course. Like, <laughs> we moved during this pregnancy. I didn't have to lift a finger. Like, I'm just gonna miss that part. Um, what am I looking forward to the most after being pregnant? Oh, when my baby gets here? Just meeting her, I can't wait to meet her. I cannot wait to um, just, when they hand me her the first time, to just make that eye contact. Like, I'm very emotional, so I think that that's just gonna be the best moment of my life. And just learning how to be, learning how to live a new life, like how to be a new parent and just, it's my mini me, it's a girl. Like I'm just happy to have my girl. Get her dressed up and take pictures and stuff every day. And just, I'm looking forward to my entire life with her. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna think of some questions off the top of my head right now to try and answer about my pregnancy. And then I think that I'm still gonna have my mom answer some questions when she's um you know available i think that i'm really nervous one because i'm i'm not really big on pain like i can't tolerate pain and just the stories that you hear growing up about childbirth and um, i watch a lot of youtube videos and stuff and i'm so small and like i feel like i'm capable i, I know that i can do it i honestly have no choice but i'm really scared about the pain um two my aunt she gave birth last year and it was scary um 
it was not smooth and just seeing her like that really makes me nervous about my um my experience but i'm speaking good vibes and great things into existence i pray that it goes smooth and yeah i don't know i just hope that i have a smooth birth experience um i'm definitely trying to get epidural i'm not even trying to lie and say that i'm gonna go natural i'm gonna see how far i go but when i say give me that epidural give me that epidural but actually the doctor just told me a few days ago that um I have scoliosis so he was like he doesn't know how it's gonna work with epidural so we'll see and yeah that's what i'm most nervous about is just that part but it seems like after mom's pushed the baby out all that pain just goes away i want her to um be confident more confident than me growing up because as a child i did struggle with um you know insecurities and a lot of self-esteem issues as a lot of young kids do um, I just want her to be more confident. I want um, her to be a leader. Of course, every parent wants their child to be a leader. I want her to have a mind of her own. Um, and I just think that the ways of the world now, the way kids are just so wrapped up in social media and their phones, and it's just like a different world than it was for us growing up. I just want her to be, you know, different. I want her to be into like reading and be into different arts and different sports and i just want her to be one of a kind um i want her to be herself always and just be ambitious you know i'm gonna try and keep her involved in a lot of things so that she's well-rounded and she's never in the mix or just going down the wrong path the first thing i would want to do with my baby when quarantine ends First of all, we are going to be in this house for at least a year. I'm not expected to go back to work until March 21. So um, I definitely want to get her a passport when she gets here. I want to take plenty of trips to her. You're going to go everywhere, little girl, okay? It's going to be mommy and me. Daddy too sometimes, but I want to just take trips with her. I want her to see the world. It's so important to me for my daughter to have a father-daughter relationship because it's just something that I never had. Um, you know, I have my stepfather and I'm grateful for our relationship, but my relationship with my biological father was just never a thing. And, um, like I said, I did well growing up, but I, to all the young girls and the women out there who don't have a great relationship with their father, they can relate. It's just something that is always going to bother you because you can never relate to, you know? Um, I want her to be a daddy's girl. I want her to be a daddy's girl. I want to witness that. I want her to be like... Um, just so comfortable around her father, be able to talk to him about anything, go to him for everything, um, for him to just be a great leader for her and um, for her to just learn so many things from her dad and for her dad to be her best friend. And um, I want that for her. I want her to get that experience. I think every little girl deserves that and I think her father is going to be a punk <laughs> and I can't wait to watch her walk all over him. When I thought that I was getting my period, I was having regular period like symptoms cramps and everything and my boobs were hurting and so I just really thought that I was getting my period uh at all I had yeast infection for the first time ever in my life like I, I had a yeast infection and so I thought that was really weird and then once I found out that I was pregnant I actually did research and I learned that that is common in pregnancy or early pregnancy or whatever so yeah, I had a period like cramps, my breasts were like sore and tender, and I had yeast infection. After that, I told you during, throughout my first trimester, I just was, like had a lot of morning sickness all day. Um, I was extremely, extremely, extremely tired. Like I just slept my days away. It was so bad. And um, oh, I had it all. I had bad tailbone pain my first trimester. I, I feel like I literally had everything. I had a canker sore. I had tailbone pain. It was horrible. Um, the morning sickness. Yeah, crazy. Second trimester was a breeze for me. After my morning sickness went away, around 15 to 16 weeks, my second trimester was a breeze. Um, I was sleeping good. I was eating normal. I was back to my normal self. Yeah, my second trimester has been a breeze. I just entered my third trimester like a week or two ago. And the only thing that's changing in my third trimester so far is the fact that um, sleeping at night is becoming very uncomfortable. Like when I sleep on my right side, it's very hard to breathe because the baby is pushing down on your organs and everything. And so it's hard for me to breathe on that side, which sucks because that's my favorite side to sleep on. They recommend that you sleep on your left side when you're pregnant. Um, which I, I can do it too, but I just prefer my right side. 
Uh, you can't sleep on your back. Sometimes I find myself waking up on my back and I feel bad. Uh, and sleeping just becomes uncomfortable. I don't know. Also, becoming more tired again. Like how I was my first trimester, I was tired and I had no energy. My second trimester, my energy came back. I was in flight attendant training. I had a lot of energy. Um, now that I'm here, I'm taking more naps and stuff throughout the day. I'm going to bed extremely early. I'm usually a night out, but I'm like knocked out early. And that's about it. Other than that, I'm chilling and I'm grateful for it. My feet are not swelling. Um, my nose swelled. Oh, and I'm breaking out. I'm breaking out, I'm breaking out, I'm breaking out. Since my first trimester, my face has just been disgusting. How was my pregnancy experience during COVID-19? I feel like I picked the worst year to end up pregnant, but it has its pros and its cons. Like, I don't want to bring my baby into this world during a pandemic because it's just scary. Um, I'm upset because I'm not able to have a real baby shower. I'm upset because since I think Hakeem came to two appointments in the beginning and then after that things got shut down and he has not been able to attend another appointment with me since. So every time I go to the doctor, I am by myself. I hate, I hate that. Every ultrasound, everything is alone and they don't even let you FaceTime record or anything to show you know to show your people back at home pray that things do go back to normal because when she gets here i want to like take her out to the restaurant while she's a baby and stuff so covid has really just been annoying but i do want to say the pros of covid i'm grateful that i don't have to work right now like i was sent home from training in march and i'm not expected to go back till next march so i get to spend an entire year home with my baby like who gets to do that? I would have been back to work so early. So I get to be home with my baby. And that's that's important to me. That That's what matters to me. So I'm happy about that. Um, that's really all I can think of. I feel like I probably missed some general questions. I don't know. But I think that I answered a lot. My pregnancy, you know, I wouldn't trade it. I, it was rough in the beginning. Um, but I'm happy. I can't wait to meet my baby girl. And I think that I'm carrying super duper duper cute for I only gained let me tell you my first trimester I lost I was 119 before this I had lost 10 pounds and so yeah I was really skinny and then I gained my weight back a little bit I'm now 132 but I'm still so small like look at me eight months pregnant This is my belly. She's small. She's sitting high up. She stole my butt. It's still there, but I feel like my butt was bigger. And um, yeah, I'm small. Woo, it hurts. Need this ball back. Um, ouch, my tailbone. So yeah, some body changes that I've noticed during my pregnancy, like I said, I've had the acne changes. Um, my weight did go down first trimester. I picked it back up. Um, oh, how could I forget? So the acne, she stole my butt and my boobs. In the beginning, they itched so bad, so bad. You just want to scratch, scratch, scratch. And they say don't scratch your stomach or anything because, you know, it could, um, you can get stretch marks because of it. So when my stomach was itching in the beginning, I would just rub it like this. You know, you just rub it and then put the oil you want it, you'll be fine. And if it itches now, I just, I have nails. So I just use my nails and kind of do that and it'll take away the itch. My stomach is good. I don't have any stretch marks. I have the line up here and I have a scar for my belly button mark. But my boobs in the beginning, I didn't care. I scratched them, I scratched them, I scratched them. And I don't know if that's why but um, my boobs have stretch marks. And I love my boobs prior to pregnancy. They were nice and perky and full. They were beautiful. Um, my boobs are probably the, the thing that changed the most during pregnancy. I have stretch marks. I'll show like a glimpse because I, I just want to be transparent. I want to be real. Like this is what they look like. And you know, some people are telling me that maybe it'll go away. After, I'm hoping so because I just like my body. I hope that my snapback is nice, but we'll see. These are the mom um, scars, you know, warrior scars. So, yeah. Alcohol removed. 
wine. <laughs>